Hello everyone and welcome to this a video all about how to UV edit and create your own models for your scene and show you the workflow we're going to have with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into my game Mimic and show you an experience where I had to uh, plug up a gap with a custom model because we didn't have one and I'll show you the process of actually accomplishing this and using a UV editor to get our textures looking good on it as well. So let's take a look at it in action. So here we are inside my game Mimic and I've got this panel that I want to make. So I've got this hatch and I've got a blank space around the hatch that I need to fill up. Now I don't have a model for this, so I'm going to have to create my own one to handle this. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new model in the modeling mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plain rectangle like so. And let's sort of rotate it this way. And a bit more. There you go. And we can hit accept. So there is my plain rectangle we're going to start off with. Let me just turn the camera speed down a bit. And I'm going to insert that in. So I'm going to go to poly um, edit, sorry, poly edit. Click on the face and we go to inset. And as, as you can see, I can now drag my mouse around. I'm not holding any buttons down, I'm just moving my mouse to indicate the sort of boundaries of that inset. So I'm going to click there. And then I'm going to delete that bit in the middle by pushing delete and then hit accept. So now I've got this panel here which is going to be perfectly useful for what I want to use it for here. So I can position it up as I see fit and scale it so I can plug up that hole that I have. In my mesh now obviously at the moment it doesn't have any material on it so for that we're going to use a material that's already part of our scene i'm going to make it match the rest of the uh, architecture in here and use this material that's being used here so i'm going to click on this material find it in the browser click on my one and then hit the little arrows to use the selected one now when you do this you can see it's going to look a little bit odd and that's because the uvs of this have not been set up so just to demonstrate if i move this out a little bit so you can see the whole thing you can see here it looks a bit weird because it's using the whole texture. So in the modeling mode, you can go down to the bottom. And first of all, you want to make sure you're unwrapping the UVs. So click unwrap and hit accept. Done. Then you want to go into your UV editor. This will bring up this window. And here you can see the different uh, polygon groups and uh, displayed on a UV index between 0 and 1. That's what this is representing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just maneuver this around. Hold it, you hold down the Alt key and left click, by the way, to move this around. And then I'm going to go into my display options up top and go to display background. And in here, I'm going to change my background source to a texture. Now I'm going to find the texture I'm using for this. So I'm just going to go back down to my material and open up the material. Find the texture that's in here. There it is base color, go back to my UV editor, and then I hit the little selected arrow to choose it. And now you can see it applying the texture here on the model. And also you can see it a bit, uh, bit poorly because it's uh, black and black, but you can see the texture is also here on the background here. So the whole concept of this is that you're picking up these shells, which are these individual islands of polygroups, and moving them around to customize where the UVs are located on the texture and as I move it around you'll see the texture change on the model there and so what you're doing here is basically you are just manipulating and scaling the shape to get the right material that you want okay so we're going to go like here for example and I like it a bit smaller actually we'll go something like that we can move it around oh if you select that bit, you can move it around freely to get what you want here. And you want to do all of them roughly the same sort of size, probably. So what we're going to do is we're going to select them all. And we're going to scale them down. Oh, misclicked. Be roughly the same size if you can. That's not too bad. Oh, 
There we go. Okay, and if you want them all to be the same um, location and same picture wise, you're going to select all of them here and you do a line. And here you're going to align in to left, to the bottom, uh, sorry, sorry, top, left, bottom, left, or right. Or you can also distribute uh, vertically align them in the center. So I'm going to align them in the center and the center again. And now they're all lined up perfectly. And we're going to see that the texture here is looking a little bit better, a little bit cleaner for us to use. Okay. Now, our metal here is, is brushed a little bit with scratches and things, so I think I'm quite happy with that. And it's looking okay. Let's change it and hit accept and then hit save. And now I've plugged up the hole with my own custom model here. So now I can bring that in and just plug up the gap here. And I'm going to make, I'm just going to rescale it so it fills up the gap because I've got this hatch thing here I'm going to plug up the difference here with this so we're going to just bring that in and out a little bit like that and to stop the Z fighting which is what this is um, basically we've got two things here op operating up, taking up the exact same space just move it forward or backwards a little bit so move this one back a little bit there we go. That's look, that's looking pretty good. Um, let's just squeeze that in a little bit more. And I've got this stuff behind it. I'm going to bring that back a little bit more. Um, let's bring that in. Okay, so let's take a look at that in game. If I just play the game from here. You can see my model is plugging up the gap just fine there. I can open up the hatch and see the inside of it. And I've got a nice clean cut of that circle there. And it looks like it's part of the scene. Brilliant. Excellent, very happy with that. So there you go, we can now go through and model our own shapes and use UV editor to customize the textures so they fit perfectly for our scene. Meaning that you don't have to find the perfect mater uh, material or perfect mesh for your scene, you can make your own. If you like this video and want to see more of my content early before anyone else, please head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where a donation of just $1 gives you access to all the videos before anyone else, as well as access to many other benefits, including our creator challenge every single month. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.